up at Brisbane for the exhibition match between Pakistan and Zimbabwe. With me in the commentary box is Jim Maxwell. Thanks, Richie. The weather's delightful. Uh, the outcome is that Taibu has won the toss and chosen to bat first. It'll be interesting to see if that was the right decision as the game progresses. The players look really fired up as they run out onto the field. So let's take a look at the teams. Here's the lineup for Zimbabwe, Abraham, Marilia, Vermoran, Mazakatsa, Taylor, Chigamba, Taipu, Street, Murphy, Hondo, and Moflu. And here's the lineup for Pakistan, Shahid Afridi, Trophy Gunnar, Inzama Mulhak, Yusuf Yuhana, Yunus Khan, Abdul Razak, Kamran Akmar, Mohammed Sami, Naved Ul Hassan, Shoy Bakhtar, and Danish Kanir. Abraham is going to face the first ball of the innings. That's found the gap in the field. The sweeper picks up. Just one run. Choi Bakta to Marilia. goes Yusuf Yuhana is chasing that one. A hopeful shout and that moves easily in. A couple there to Marilia. Marilia waiting at the striker's end. Marilia facing. Yusuf Yuhana is in pursuit. Good stroke for four. Choi Bakta is headed straight to his mark after that one. Right shot. That was a pleasure to see. Uh, see the action replay of that. Choi back time, the ball to Marilia. Collected by Trophy Kuma. First boundary for Marilia. Choi Bakta to Marilia. And that's out. Fourth by up to Rosa. Very safely taken. Soft hands, that's what you call. So then, that's the end of Marilia. This was how the innings ended for Marilia. Abraham is now facing. Ruffled his feathers. Abraham facing. Yeah. That is an excellent catch. That's the early wicket they were looking for. Now they need to keep the pressure on. Mohammed Sami gets his first wicket. This was how the wicket fell. The next batsman is Mazakatsa. Mazakatsa waiting at the striker's end. Inzamar Mulhak is after that one. 
four runs to Mozakata. He found the gap with precision. Lovely shot. He raced away to the fence for four. We can have a look at that again. Mohamed Sami, the ball to Mazakata. Tofi Kumar is after it and just runs that one down to third man. Racking strap, picked up very early by Mazakata. That's not the right line to fold of this batsman, he'll punish anything there. Take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Mohamed Sami, the ball to Mazakata. Mazakata waiting at the striker's end. goes by the man at long on one run to Mazakata nine runs came from that over for Zimbabwe Shoya Bakta continues Inzamamul Huck sprinting along the boundary Inzamamul Huck is not going to reach that The bowler put that right in his favourite area Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion Choi Bakhtar at the start of his runner. Well, Richie, you've seen some great batsmen. Who's the best in the contemporary game? The qualities of a great batsman are best shown these days by watching Sachin Tendulkar. He has the ability to play very straight in defence on the back and front foot. He has post the perfect footwork. After that, a wonderful range of strokes. We have a great entertainer, as well as someone who is brilliant technically. That's a catcher facing. Stopped by Mohammed Sami. Choi Bakta to Mazakadza. Choi Bakta, the ball to Mazakadza. Oh, that's a really superb shot. Mazakadza, very quickly onto that one. Great shot. That was a pleasure to see. We can have a look at that again. Bermo Ellen waiting at the striker's end. Very safely taken. Soft hands, that's particular. Mohammed Sami gets his second hit. This was how the innings ended for Vermo Allen.
Taylor is the new batsman. Mohamed Sami continues. Well, that's off the batsman's pads. Umpires uh, signalling that as leg buys. Mohamed Sami continues. Mohamed Sami to Mazakata. These will be leg buys. Umpires uh, signalling that as leg buys. Taylor facing. the wicket fell. Chigumbra is the next man in. Mohammed Sami continues. Look out. Six. Chigumbra absolutely smashed that for six. What an effortless shot. Brilliant. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Kadza is now on strike. It's high in the air. Safely taken by Mohamed Sami. That was moving pretty quickly and he did well to cling on to it. Navadur Hassan gets his first wicket. Kadza is making his way back to the pavilion. That's poor bat. He lost his concentration and paid for it with his wicket. This was the end of the innings for Mazakadza. The next man in is Taibu. Taibu waiting at the striker's end. Navadur Hassan, the ball to Taipu. Good bowling from Navadur Hassan. Navadur Hassan to Taipu. Great shot by Taipu. Really struck that well. That was a gift for the batsman. that again. Taibu facing. It's bound to 
stuck out with that one and timed that on-drive to perfection. The bowlers can't have too many complaints about seeing that ball disappear to the boundary. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Abdul Hassan to Kaipu. There it goes. And there's a fielder under it. He kept his concentration really well. He had a long time to think about that before it came down. This was how the wicket fell. Danish Kanira to bowl his leg spin. First boundary for Danish Kanira, the ball is wrist spin. There it goes. Eunice Khan is underneath it and takes it comfortably. The batsman will be kicking himself over that. It wasn't a great shot and he looked to be in good form. Danish Kanira gets his first wicket. This was how the wicket fell. Murphy is the new batsman. To Murphy facing. Swept away. Just one run. Chigumbra waiting at the striker's end. Hondo, Danish Kanira, the ball to Hondo. These runs will be signalled as leg buys. Buys uh, signalling that as leg buy. Danish Kanira, the ball is wrist spin. That's a clean ball. I'm not sure what he was thinking there, leaving the straight ball away. Lagadol Hassan gets his second ball. So then, that's the end of Murphy. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Abdul Hassan continues. Struck in front. That's an appalling total for Zimbabwe. That's a really good performance in the field by Pakistan. The bowlers can be very pleased with themselves. He's out. Good decision by the umpire. Abdul Hassan gets his third wicket. Great bowl. He's held a perfect line and length. The batsman can't find an answer to it. That's a duck for Pondo. That's an extremely long walk when you've been dismissed for a duck. Streak is 
switching to round the wicket. Stopped by Mazakata. Shahid Afridi waiting at the striker's end. Mazakata is in to shoot. He runs here. A shot. There's the first run of the day for Pakistan. That looked like four the moment he struck. We can have a look at that again. Streak to Shahid Afridi. Shahid Afridi facing. Mason Katza is after it. That's over the rope. Six runs off the street. That takes his score to a He really is very good straight down the ground. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Streak to Shahid Afridi. Burma Ellen is chasing that one. Well, that's off the batsman's pads. Requires that signal. Streak, the ball to Trophy Duma. Mofu is after that one. That's out of the ground. Kofi Kumar absolutely smashed that for six. The straight drive is his favourite shot, and it shows. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Shahid Afridi waiting at the... Mofu is coming around the wicket. Shahid Afridi. Mofu has got him. He was called all over the place. Mofu gets his first wicket. Shahid Afridi scored ten runs from North Falls. This was how the wicket fell. Inzamar Mulhak is the new batsman. Inzamar Mulhak facing. Great at Mazakadza. Mofu, the ball to Intamar Mulhak. That's out. Well bowled. Kept it straight. Waiting for the batsman to make a mistake. Mofu gets his second wicket. Pakistan, two down now for 17. Well, he hasn't troubled the scorers with that innings. This was the end of the innings for Intamar Mulhak. <laughs> Yusuf Yuhana is the next man in. Yusuf Yuhana waiting at the striker's end.
it straight to a fielder. Mofu, the ball to Yusuf Yuhana. There it goes. Oh. What a night. That ball went miles up, but he really should have caught it. Single to Yusuf Yuhana. A very good over. Only one offered in the end. Streak to begin a new over. by Mofu. Pakistan require 32 to win. Yusuf Yuhana facing. Yusuf Yuhana is making his way back to the pavilion. This was how the innings ended for Yusuf Yuhana. Yunus Khan is the new batsman for Pakistan. Streak continues. Second wicket. Pakistan, four down now for 18. Now first ball. He might just as well have stayed in the dressing room. This was how the wicket fell. The next man in is Abdul Razak. Streak on a hat trick. Marilia is in for shoot. Abdul Razak just guides the ball down to third man. Just one run. Tofi Kumar waiting at the striker's end. Expertly into the gap. One more for Trophy Kuma. Straight continues. Tucked away quite comfortably. Murphy was not going to reach that. The crowd was brought to their feet by that shot. It was a good shot, but the bowler shouldn't be bowling at it. Uh, see the action replay of that. Tofi Kumar is now facing. That's the third wicket now for Mufu. Tofi Kumar scored seven runs from naught balls. This was how the wicket fell. Kamran Akbal is the next batsman in. Mofu to Kamran Akbal.
they have five wickets in hand. Mofu, the ball to Cameron Akbar. Mofu has got him. He played completely down the wrong line. They've made a mess of the stars. Mofu has taken four wickets now. That's a duck for Cameron Akbar. He's back in the pavilion with a big round zero to his name. This was the end of the innings for Cameron Akbar. Mohamed Sami is the new batsman. Mofu continues. Awful judgment by the batsman there. You have to be certain when you elect not to play a stroke. Mofu gets his fifth wicket. Mohamed Sami goes for a duck. Well, with the fall of that wicket, they'll be hoping to mop up the tail quickly. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. The next batsman in is the right-handed Naved Ul Hassan. Naved Ul Hassan facing. seem to lose concentration. Oh, what a catch. For those of you watching at home, that's a good example of how to take a catch. Mofu has taken six wickets now. So then, that's the end of Naved Ul Hassan. That's an extremely long war when you've been dismissed for a duck. This was how the innings ended for Naved Ul Hassan. Choi Bakhtar is the new batsman for Pakistan. Mofu to Choi Bakhtar. The required run rate is around four and over. He kept that really tight. It was a fine over. Zimbabwe are about to make a change in the bowling. Abdul Razak waiting at the striker's end. It's straight to a fielder. 26 runs required. Marilia to Abdul Razak. in the covers. Abdul Razak facing. Stopped by Mofu. Marilia the ball to Abdul Razak. in trouble with that one. Abdul Razak waiting at the striker's end. It's straight at Mofu. Abdul Razak facing. Straight at Chikumbra. Five overs are left in the innings. The required run rate is around five and over. The 
here comes the first change in bowling. Hondo to Choi Bakta. Hondo is coming around the wicket. Stopped by Streak. Pakistan, more or less uh, Hondo, the ball to Shoy Bakta. Runs here. A single to Shoya Bakta. Abdul Razak waiting at the striker's end. Abdul Razak facing. Two wickets in hand. Hondo to Abdur Razak. Hondo, the ball to Abdur Razak. Offered in the end, the required run rate is around six. Choi Bakta is now facing. Marilia is switching to round the wicket. Done him. He totally deceived him back to delivery and it beat him all ends up. Marilia gets his first wicket. Pakistan, nine down now for 25. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Danish Kanira is the next batsman in. Danish Kanira waiting at the striker's end. It's straight to a fielder. Pakistan require 25 to win. Marilia to continue with his off spin. He must have been sleeping in the field when that ball was hit at him. So they need 25 to win from 21 balls. Marilia continues. Marilia continues. Runs required. Marilia to continue with his off spin. The required run rate is around eight and over. The batsman will feel under pressure to score runs after. Abdul Razak facing. So, to sum up then, Zimbabwe win by 24 runs. Thanks for joining us for today's play. We very much look forward to your company at the next match. <laughs>